Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Let's head on up to Termina with Lena. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, thanks for letting me stay here, but what do you want from me? What's wrong with you, Serge? Well, anyway, uh, there's one thing I want to do before heading on up to Termina, so let... Oh, actually, you know what? We could uh, head up to uh, Lena's house here. I think with Lena and our party, we can get an extra piece of dialogue. I wonder whatever happened to Lena's parents anyway. She's living with her grandma now? We sort of find out later. I think. Eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's the deal, Grandma. What is that thing she's wearing on her head anyway? Uh, I, I don't know. Like a, well, it's not a bandana, but... Uh, Huh. I don't know, but... Yeah, redheads are okay. More of a brunette guy myself, I'll be honest with you, viewers. Not much of a fan of blondes either, but... Anyway, we're a dead guy. We gotta take what we can get, so... But anyway, now we can do one more thing here, since we have uh, Lena on our party with uh, Fisherman. Or whatever his occupation is now. Uh, what, hobo? Or deadbeat? Or whatever. Let's give him the shark tooth again. We get the same dialogue as before, but uh, since we've been to Cape House, there's a little different outcome from this this time around. So I'll just go through the dialogue as quickly as I can. By the way, if you let Kid join your party at that time at Cape Howe there, Lena can never be recruited into your party. So that's why I wanted to uh, forget about Kid and uh, just get Lena now. I forget whether you can do this with Kid in your party or not. I. I Forget, I never really tried, but anyway, I want to do this part now anyway, so there you are. Okay, I guess we got to take his teeth back and, uh, well, what's going on? I thought something was supposed to happen here when I give him the shark tooth. Maybe I got to talk to the voodoo doll? Huh, that's weird. Did I do something wrong? Or no, no, just kidding, viewers. What's with all these mysterious voices in the game? What seems to be your boggle? Who's talking? It's Mojo! Yay! The Voodoo Doll's alive! I don't know what is with the Voodoo Doll's accent, but... If only I had a brain. Hey, hey! All right! We get a voodoo doll made out of straw, a nail through his chest, joining our party. I suppose, you know, if he can survive a nail through his chest, why not have him join our party? He's got to be a tough mother. All right, more party members, more party members! Is he doing like a bad impression of Elvis? An Elvis voodoo doll, that's just great. But anyway, he's quite terrible. I don't care to have him in my party at all. But we can change it around if we want to, but I don't. He's black elemental, but uh, he's quite terrible. I could just take a quick look at his stats there. For some reason in the character... Oh. For some reason I thought in the character list his name was Mojoy. M-O-J-O-Y. I forget where it says that, but... Anyway, he's a voodoo doll, and, uh, well, there you are. He's black elemental, and, oh, by the way, about his stats, you see his high agility there? That in influences your evade, but evade is so terrible in this game, so Mojo's pretty useless. His abilities are pretty useless, too, so, uh, really not worth using him at all. Pulsual is infinitely better and more entertaining. So, you know, there's no reason at all. I'm not going to use, I'm going to recruit every character in the game, but I'm not going to use absolutely all of them. Just so you know, viewers. Like Mojo. I'll try to use a lot of them, but, uh, or most of them, but some of them I just don't care to use. So anyway, to get to Termina, we have to head to Fossil Valley. So let's check that out. See if the soldiers will let us by now that we have a girl in our party. Well, I suppose Postal's a girl, really, but, uh... Oh, okay, they're almost done with their excavation here, so... Okay. Alright, well, before going through this area, I want to take a moment to uh, adjust my element setup and be right back. 
Okay, I've got everything set up and ready to go, so let's just take a quick look at our uh, element set up here. Got uh, Aqua Beam going, because we got some uh, red elemental enemies here. Uh, and the rest here isn't important, it's just to fill out my grid so I can build up my element power that high. I uh, got an Aqua Beam and a heal for uh, Pulsial there. Everything else doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, make sure to load up Lena with uh, plenty of uh, blue elements because that'll really benefit her. And uh, if you don't have an arrow saucer element, you can just give her a bushwhacker element. That sounds vulgar. Well, anyway, let's uh, check out the first battle that uh, we can get here. Ah, there's a new animal. Let's kill it! Let's get some dog-on-dog -dog action here. Or, uh, whatever those monsters are. I don't know. Whoa! You gonna let them hit you like that, Pulsial? Well, anyway, we got some enemies here. Bubba Dingo and Mama Dingo. Let's kill the Mama Dingo first and see what happens. Ah, uh, so much nicer to play the game with no slowdown. Yeah, I think the video quality difference is negligible. Uh, decreasing it just a little bit. So, I think it makes a huge difference. Well, maybe not a huge difference, but big enough. So let's have Pulsio finish off the mom. And let's see what happens now that their mom isn't around. Kill all the babies, too. Don't want them coming after us for revenge. Uh, can we see what happens? Okay, I'm going to have to defend to show you what happens when the mom isn't around. Yeah, yeah, the two little uh, baby Bubba Dingoes, whatever, they start attacking each other if their mom is killed off. So, there you are. And uh, Lena's weapon is a ladle. I have a... What is it? I get a swallow, or like an oar, or something. Postal's weapon is, well, her paws, or gloves. And Lena's weapon is a ladle. Sometimes it includes frying pans of love. But in this case, she's using a ladle right now. I don't know, viewers. You got me on that one. I, I don't know why this happens. But, uh... Anyway, let's head on up here, then. We don't want to head to the left quite yet. Huh. Uh, yes, we are! If you say no, uh, he won't let you up there, I don't think. So, uh, let's just climb up this rope ladder, then, and see what we can do up here. Maybe they've got a few key items for us. Whoa! That howling's a little spooky there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I just said that. Just stop the noise. Okay. Well, let's see what this guy can tell us about it. Oh, yeah. yeah they know about the ghost. Me. But uh, I guess it would be kind of hard for them to uh, circulate a picture around here, huh? Look, Shaggy. Found one of those mutilated corpses. We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch here. Oh. Yeah, I suppose we both are dead, huh? I'd make a Stephen King's It reference here, but, uh... Nothing's coming to me. I, I can't think of anything that would be amusing, but... Sure, let's find the rest of his body for him. Maybe he's a relative of Curly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we get a heavy skull. What we gotta do is uh, find the rest of his body parts lying around throughout the rest of the game. And, well, there you go. Well, gee, you think? All right. Well, there you go. And we can get some money out of it at Viper Manor. No, no, not really. But uh, we get the heavy skull, so uh, that's all we came here for. And, huh. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, well, I'm sure it's nothing important. Huh. Okay. Bite your head off, man. Okay, well, there's one thing I want to do here, so uh, let me just take a quick pause break and be right back. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to show everything in this battle here, but I just want to show you what not to do. So let's see if I can get the right enemy to show up. Yes, the Dodo Bird! Now, here's what you're not supposed to do. Let's attack the Dodo first. Build up some element power. There we go. The Dodo has a lot of HP relative to the enemies that you've seen so far. Let's see if they wore underwear back then. Uh, 
by casting an element on it. You do not want to cast an element on the dodo bird. So let's see. There we go. Yeah, if you cast an element on it, it gets pissed off. So let's see what ha I, I don't even care about killing the rest of the enemies. But, uh... Oh, come on. Hurry up. I'm fast-forwarding through the counterattack. These guys take forever to counterattack. There we go. Well, at least I killed one of them, but... There we go. If you use an element on Dodos, they will counterattack with Peck. Watch what happens! Ow! Yeah, you don't want to do that. So what would be the correct way to take care of Dodos? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. I'll get you next time, Dodo! Next time!